Hi guys, Jen here. We are live. I'll give you guys just a couple minutes to get on here before I go into big details on what this video is about. Well, you guys probably read the title and you already know. But, um, we at Be Scented, you guys know with a lot of things going on right now, a lot of companies are shutting down, closing their doors. Because, hi, Christy. Because they have employees. And, hello. Hi, everybody. So glad to see you here. Um, but you know that a lot of companies are shutting down their doors because of what's going on in the world right now. And uh, they have too many employees, so they don't follow the guidelines with being able to do social distancing and all of that whatnot. But we are at Be Scented are proud to say that we are still open and shipping. Uh, we've never been open to the public, so we don't have to worry with that. Hi, everybody. We all are very healthy, doing well, and uh, you can continue to place your orders right now. Uh, I made a post in the group the other day that right now is a great time to stock up on things, make some products that you've not made before, or that you've put off making because you didn't have time. Well, now a lot of you have the time on your hands that you can work on those projects. Um, so I wanted to hop on here and let everybody know that we are still open. We don't plan on shutting down as long as UPS is running we will continue to ship your orders and have them picked up and um, we have a lot going on Eric's working on bottling and like I said on a day-to-day -day basis it is just us here so we already social distance ourselves every day um, I'm gonna turn you guys around I wanted to show you guys while I'm on here some new products or some new pens and whatnot that Eric has made um, right here is the boys, <laughs> and they're good. Um, schools here are closed for the remainder of this school year, so they will not be going back to school. Um, they have been doing schoolwork from home, and so we're working on that. As far as I'm aware, they're going to let the kids pass the grade, um, as long as they do their schoolwork and get that turned in. So, yeah, they are growing up really, really fast, guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn you around. Uh, we have a few of the Father's Day pen and pencil gift sets that we wanted to do available. Um, and then we have some necklaces. And I also wanted to put out there that um, for the Father's Day sets or any kind of gift set, if you guys want a special specific pin put in this box that I'm going to show you, we can do that. It does not have to be a pen and pencil set. But uh, the three that I do have on hand now, they're $55 for the pen and pencil uh, set that Eric made. We have our first fountain pen. Um, we have some razors that Eric's done, and we have a couple of necklace pens. I wanted to show you guys those because you guys seem to really enjoy them in the last video. Uh, so I'm going to flip this around. Um, don't forget to go over to the website. Oh, I also just, uh, right there you guys see, I, I just made this soap for a custom order for um, a customer of mine. And, yeah, go over to the Bee Scented website, grab what you need. Hello, April. Uh, we are unsure how long our supplier is going to be able to ship to us, I guess you can say. It, it just depends. Um, a lot of things are up in the air right now. You guys all know that. So, first off, I'm going to show you the gift sets um, that we do have ready, available. And they all will come like this, in this box, in this sleeve. Now, this one is made with the olive wood, which they will come with the certificate of authenticity. And I have it in this, in my paperwork, or in my bag. But it's kind of hard to see. But this will also be in the box in here. Your certificate. Um, so I have this one. This is the pen. This is the pencil. And they come in this box. Very nice box. And then I think I have an acrylic one. 
Yep, that's what this one is. This is the acrylic, and I will take it out so you guys can see. It's called a cat's eye, and I'll see if I can't get it. Yeah, there it is. You guys can see it. It's called a cat's eye. I thought was a great color for men, so I picked this one up. But that is what the pen and pencil both look like. That's in this set. I told Eric I might have to ask him what some of the wood is made of because I, I forget. And then this one is beautiful. Pen and pencil set. It's a lighter color. So we have these three available. And I know you guys can see these back here. These are quite awesome. They are a necklace. This one is made by the Spalted Tamarind and it is magnetic. It just comes right off and clips right back in. It's really awesome. I have the full size option of this pen and we intended to buy more of them. Like right here is my, the full size version of that pen. Hey. And I intended to buy more of these because I really like this pen. It's called a Duchess pen. And the company sent us these. So we were okay with that because we really liked these, how these turned out. Um, but like I said, just pops right off, right back in, super easy. This one is wood as well. This one was the... I'm thinking, which one was this? Which one was this? Yeah, that's right. It was the Flame Box Elder. I love the red color that's in there. And the camera is picking it up true to color. So, that's great. Alright, now. Eric did do a few razors. He actually made one for himself. And has been using it. And is really really likes it these are a traditional straight um safety razor and it will come like if you order one of these it will come with um, a pack of the razors of course there's not one in there right now but this one is blue matches my nails how pretty is that we've got two of these and then this one is made from spalted something which one's maple yes <laughs> he shook his head yes spalted maple you guys can see the lines right there how pretty it's been sealed obviously so water won't affect it but i really really like these these would be a great father's day gift as well and then those of you that are soap makers, you can include your soap with it. So, yay. All right, on to some of the new pens. I will not remember what they're all made of. They are, I don't even think I've gotten this one put on my Facebook page yet. This one is a click pen. And it's very yellow looking. What was that made of? canary wood that's right see i should have known that okay this one's very very pretty hello maria this is a burl i don't remember which kind i do have the information on my facebook page uh if you guys see a pen you want send me a message on facebook i will be happy to help you Ooh, this one is gorgeous, you guys. This one is made from a cedar. I just love it. I mean, it doesn't pick up the redness, but it is very, it's more red than it's showing. We got a lot of new pens. You guys bought a bunch of the ones. This is one of the new, I don't know if this one's the fountain pen or what, because it's really hard to get it out. So it's a fat pen. No, it's not the fountain pen, but look at that. 
that is a knot that was he got, had to fill in. I mean, this is just amazing. But these pens, they they screw on, and then the cap screws on the back side, so you don't lose it. So these ones are pretty awesome. More of a high end pen. Like I said, these ones would be good in the gift sets for the Father's Day. If you purchase one of these, I will include the gift box at no charge. All right. I really want you guys to see the fountain pen. Ooh, I don't know if I showed you guys this one or not. I think I posted a picture of this one on my YouTube channel. How pretty. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I'm not going to go through all the pins we have available. Just sort of through these new ones sitting right here. Because um, we have a bunch. This is also the Box Elder. This is a burl. You guys can see the red. How pretty. Such detail. And then this one unscrews as well. You're whistling. Somebody's a whistling. Or a bird. This one's acrylic. Ooh, look at that. How pretty that was. It's really hard to take a picture to show how pretty these are. Pictures don't do them justice at all, in my opinion. Ooh. Eric, what is this one? Buckeye burl. How pretty, guys. This, yeah, this is beautiful. I love the knots. Rosalia said that's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What was this one on the long click? I know, right? <laughs> Pine, that's right. Great craftsmanship, Christy said. Absolutely. He's very much a perfectionist in what he does. These, like I said, these ones are all new. I do try to put them on my website as soon as he gets them done. Not on my website, on my Facebook page. But sometimes... Okay, guys, here's the first fountain pen. It is... Absolutely stunning on the outside, obviously. This is made from eucalyptus gum vein burl, is what it's called. This is all holes that was in the wood that he had to fill in. Oh, yeah, it took him a long time to finish this one. And then this one, like I said, is a fountain pen. And then, like you, we have two options. It will come with both. This is how you work this one. Of course, you can turn this and, you know, suck up your ink this way, you know, and fill your pen uh, like the traditional way. Or this pen will also come with this refill here that you can put in place of where you would suck the ink up. So it will come with it. But yes, this pen is absolutely stunning. This is the first one that he made. So I'm going to be jealous of whoever gets this first one. Maria said it's gorgeous and Crystal did too. All right, I got two more to show you guys. Here is another one. How pretty. This is the Flame Box Elder. I just love, maybe they call it a Flame Box Elder because of the red tone in it. I don't know. But I love it. I love the red. And like for this one, this is what this is made out of too. The little pin. 
You want that fountain pen? <laughs> now you can message me. The fountain pen, like I said, is the most expensive and the highest end pen he has made. And it's $90. So if you want that pen, please message me. I don't think it will be available very long. Send me a message on Facebook. Or you can send me an email. Or I can send you an email. Yes, it's very much worth it. It took him a long time to make that. Um, yeah, and like I said, he he tells me to price it. And like I, I tell him what I'm going to price it for. And he gives me the okay, whether or not I've got it priced okay. Um, he never ever, you guys know with his molds and whatnot, he never ever overprices anything. And then what was this one made out of? Quilted maple? Quilted maple, how pretty. And it really shines like that when you hold it in your hand. That's exactly what it looks like. The camera is not playing tricks. So this is the last of the latest new pens. Like I said, if you want any, please message me and I'll be happy. If you want, the quilted maple is uh, $35. Um, if you want one of these for a gift, uh, I have a couple options in boxes. I have this big box, and then for a smaller pen, um, we also have these boxes that have um, a little window that we can put a pen in. For example, I'll... I'll take this one out and I'll put it in here and show you like it would come like this if you would like a gift like this for somebody I would be happy to ship it this way as well either way we have the black box and then we have um, the bigger box so, like I said, guys, if it's for if you're ordering it just for yourself, not a gift, we'll send them in this um, the sleeve, and then uh, generally I send them in a box anyways. But if it's for a gift, just let me know. All right, guys. So, does that have pen have silver parts for a fountain pen? Yes, he can order um, a silver fountain pen but this one is I can't remember if it's 14 or 24 karat uh, gold that one is uh, I'll have to ask him and whoever does decide to purchase it I'll let you know uh, what it is but yes that is all the new ones for now if you want any please 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 shoot me a message on Facebook we're happy to do them as gifts for you or anything. Head over to Be Scented if you need any supplies. We're here working. Um, we'll get you your order out to you. And that's it for this video. I think Noah wants to say bye. So I'm going to turn you around. Oh, there he is. Bye. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for being here and always supporting us. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.